Hey guys, Zach Calhoun here from cloudpano.com. Hope your day is going amazing. In this short video, I wanted to walk through the in-between steps from capturing 360 photos, in this case on an Insta360 ONE X, um, exporting those photos, get, and then turning them into JPEGs so that you can upload them to cloudpano.com and it's a smooth transition from there. Um, so here's here's what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna just kind of walk through slowly and this is kind of a boring video, but you only have to watch it one time and you'll know the process after that. You need a micro SD card to properly photograph 360 photos. Um, and you wanna look for something that has Extreme Pro on it. Uh, there's specs online you can look up but basically, for my computer anyways, I need the micro SD card and this big old adapter. Um, and they're like really cheap on Amazon and you can use them for any type of camera. And I just plug that little piece, I take it out of the camera, plug it into this big adapter and I plug it in my computer and, and it recognizes it really quickly. So what happens is, and I'm gonna pull this down on my computer, I have multiple screens here. What happens is, when you have that SD card, and you scroll down to your camera, or in it, I'm sorry, the folder from, from this camera that was automatically created, you'll see files like this. They're .insp files. And what you need to know is like, those files don't really jive or work whenever you're trying to create a virtual tour. So you have to convert them to JPEGs. Well, fortunately, uh, Insta360 has a free software that helps us kind of manage some of these outputs. So I'm going to pull up Actually, just so you guys can, um, nope, that's not what I want. I want this right here. Um, if you go to insta360.com slash download, you click on the camera, and then you it brings you to a couple of different softwares you can download. So this one is for your app itself. So in case you wanna take the photos, that's the one you download on the app store. And then down here you see Insta360 Studio <clears throat> editing software. And depending on what year it is for you, you'll probably have an updated version right there. I'm using a Windows device, whether whatever device you have, you download it, and it's free software. And what you do is you get something like this. Um, so um, actually, I'll even show you an easier way. What I do is when I'm on, when I have that software installed, and I know which photo, I kind of looked through some of my photos already, I know which photo I want to convert to a JPEG. And of course, you can do batch, you can like grab a bunch if you want to. I'm just gonna grab this one right here, 69 I think is the, number, the one I want. You double click it, it opens up that file in Insta360 Studio. Um, and this is not the one I wanted actually. I think maybe I want 67. Yep, so I'll try again here. Um, <clears throat> and it's uploading onto a different screen, so I'm just gonna pull the software down onto the screen that I'm sharing. Okay, cool. Here it is. Here's how it looks. And I'm just going to convert one photo just to make it easy. Um, and you can do batch uh, converting and it, and it takes you less than a few minutes. But um, there's an important note here. And this is something that a lot of people can miss and really mess up their virtual tours. Um, even if you were to export or send this out to outsource this, you want to give this video to them and say, hey, watch this video before you uh, go through the uh, exporting process because there's a little thing right here in the stabilization menu called automatic horizontal correction. And if you look and I click it, I toggle it, I want to make sure that it has a check mark on it because it makes sure that your 360 photos are horizontal. Otherwise, they'll have a slight angle to them and that will make your uh, virtual tour, it will kind of distract you on the virtual tour experience. And I know a lot of photographers are very, very particular about making sure they're vertical. Well, if you don't have um, this checked, then you're gonna have an issue. So I, I, that's the one thing you need to keep track of. Then you just click on your photo and you have a couple options. You can, you can batch export or just export one photo at a time or you can right click the specific photo and say start export. You'll get a little mini menu here um, and it's gonna ask you where you want it to export, which file on your computer, um, where you want it to go and you can name the file if you want to in case you said like, like kitchen, etc. cetera. Um, and I used to say, okay, and that's it. And so over the course of, I mean, less than a, a few seconds, it will take that uh, file and create it into a .jpg. Um, and here it is, here's what, here's what it looks like. So now that that's on my computer, and, I, and I'll show you that it is, I can um, 
I'll show you in a second actually. What you do now is you just pull up pull up cloud panel, you log in, app.cloudpanel.com. Um, if I'm already logged in, so you'll see my, my account just pop right up. But uh, I'm just gonna call this tour um, probably test tour or something like it. And uh, my internet is taking its time today. <clears throat> but here we go. So I'm gonna call this test tour. Test tour, just to, just why not, whatever. I'm just trying to show you guys an example. If I click next, I'm gonna upload a photo. And some of these designs may look different, but um, here's the kitchen photo you just saw. Actually, I had it color corrected, so I'll, I'll add that one right here. Same, same exact process. Um, double click, it will upload it into uh, Cloud Pano. And then once it's there, you're ready to create a virtual tour. Um, so that is how you create a 360 virtual tour with your Insta360 ONE X. Um, it's a, this is a JPEG file. I'm gonna set my initial view and I'm just going to go ahead and we'll call it test tour, that's fine. I'm gonna click publish. And as you can see, um, the 360 tour is created and man, that was fast. Okay, I'm just going to, um, I don't know why it's taking so long, but I'm gonna click exit here. And then, okay, there we go, it's saving it. And here we are, and I can share this link anywhere. Obviously I would have more photos than this, but that's the process in between to get these converted to JPEGs. I hope this video was helpful and that you never have to watch it again because you gotta figure it out and you're just gonna go off and make some money and make some virtual tours. All right, appreciate you guys, have a good day.